Okay, game boots. Um, I'll show you how to install a game boot and get it all working. Make sure you have a 1.5 PSP. There you go, 1.5. And all we do now is um, download a game boot. Um, they're off they're on the internet but they're not easy to find um, just do a good Google search and type in uh, PSP game boots uh, you'll find them there be careful on which ones you do download read the instructions properly even though I'm giving you the instructions but there's more technical things about it um, so read the instructions properly and because you could prick your PSP and I'm not responsible for what you do to your PSP it's your own choice you do it yourself when I do things with my, with my PSP, it's my own fault. If it bricks, it bricks. So here we go. Uh, once you've done that, download the um, the PMF game boot file and put it into your um, root directory of your PSP. Um, rename it to game boot, and then go into a program. Well, download a program called PSP Set and um, run that make sure you have the um, power adapter plugged in first option there is game boot change the game boot done and quit very simple to do so now if I go into that program, same program. We have the new game boot. If you need to, you can go into that same program, go into game boot. Restore original game boot. It says copy file and it takes a while, just let it sit there, do not turn it off could brick a PSP if you do wait till the menu comes back and it's all done so we go back and quit okay go back into that program and it's back to normal. So good luck people, uh, enjoy, have fun, and don't break your PSPs. Okay, now with uh, wallpaper, we'll change the background picture. Make, I'll show again, this is a 1.5. And first thing to do is have a JPEG picture, oh sorry, not a JPEG picture, a BMP picture, at resolution uh, 480 by 272 make sure it's a 24 um, 24-bit bitmap and each month has a number like 01 is January 02 is February and so on etc right up to 12 and rename them to correspond to your month on your PSP and uh, put them into your root directory let's say um, I'll do one now I've already put in uh, for the 10th month even though it is the 11th at the moment it's just the PSPs on the 10th month um, I've put it into the root directory and I've named it to 10 so the file name is just 10 and the resolution is 480 by 272 it's a bitmap 24 bit it's in the root directory of the PSP I run that same program, the PSP set. And just go change wallpaper. Select a month is a good way of doing it, unless you want to do the whole lot. And go down to, like I've done, 10. Go down to 10.
Dann and quit out of the program. Now I should have a different wallpaper. So there you go people, on a 1.5 PSP with wallpaper. Good luck people, as I always say, don't break your PSPs and good luck. Okay, now we'll do um, fonts. This, this is a 1.5 stool. And install a program called um, XFlash. And once you've installed that, um, once you've installed that, you can go along and also download uh, PGF fonts, or let's say download um, font packs for the PSP, and you can get them in the PGF formats. You can convert the TTF normal um, true type fonts to PGF. Uh, that's a lot more instructions to do, but um, I'll go through with that some other time. Uh, once you um, got the XFlash and the PGF file, um, install the XFlash. And in. Where are we? Let's have a look here. In the XFlash fo uh, file folder, go into PSP folder, game, and into your XFlash folder without the percentage. Go into the XFlash folder in there, and under modified, go into there, and paste your your font into that folder there. Make sure the font is called LTN0. Once it's in there, you can um, run your um, program, your XFlash program. Go through a bit of checking before before it actually runs. Okay, now we change the fonts, which is number six. Install custom font. Don't know if you can read that. It's number six anyway. Install custom font and hit X. Says it's applying and done. Now hold the home button, hold it down, and that quits out of it. I put in a Harry Potter font. So now turn your PSP on because it turns itself off. And now we have a Harry Potter font. So there you have it on the 1.5. Good luck people. Have fun.